Oh my goodness. Hey guys, it's Justin. We're back for another vlog and we're getting close to Christmas now. So I thought it'd be fun to do something completely different. We've been doing clowns now for I think four weeks in a row. We've seen some really cool combos, really exciting stuff that we've enjoyed making. But now we're gonna take it a completely different way and we're gonna go the pied route. So this year, you guys have probably seen that we haven't done a lot of pied videos. It hasn't been honestly a big pied year for us, but this clutch made up for all that. It's really, really wild. And so we're gonna do the whole format where we're gonna bring you the cool egg cutting and then we're gonna show you post shed. These are the craziest pies we've ever made by a long shot. So let's dive into them. Super sweet clutch today. Super inchy OD pie to ODYB inchy fire leopard pie. Let's see what we got. Again, I think you guys probably remember this from a previous video. But pieds are really hard to ID in the egg, and these are all gonna be pieds. So, but we're hoping for some super OD, super inchy combos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we got a winner. We're done, guys. Good night. I'll see you later. That is crazy. That is definitely super OD. I would say it's super OD, YB. That could be the coolest pie ever made. Look at that head. That head stamp is just wicked. Wow, that is cool. Okay, well that's, you know, that makes the whole clutch really just, whatever else I get, I'm pretty happy just with that animal. So that's really neat. Whoa! Another, that's wicked. Hmm, so I can't see the head on this one yet, but that is, I would say that's Odie Leopard Inchy Fire Pied. You're thinking how on earth can he even guess that from that minimum pattern, but I see a few different little cues there. Um, first of all, see how it's pale orange compared to the bright orange, the other one that would suggest fire. Inchy, because it has so much pattern and, and it doesn't have any defined saddles. Um, they have a little bit of black markings there, but they're not the two lines in the center. I don't think I see yellow belly just because the saddle doesn't look that jagged, but I would say leopard, just because leopard does tend to throw these dark blacks on the very outside of the saddles and OD because it is so bright. So happy those first two. Dude, look at that head. They got the same nose as the first one. What? All right, I gotta give a big shout out here to Aussie Boys. I know I shot him out a fair amount. And if you guys know him, you know why, because he makes incredible stuff. But the mail that sired this came from him and he sold me a really powerhouse mail. Really generous guy. And man, look at that really, really worth it. Worth every penny. Thank you, Ozzy. Wow. Wow. Super inchy too, I think. Super inchy OD fire. Hmm. Hmm. My favorite. That's maybe the best pie clutch I've ever seen. At least I've ever hatched, put it that way. I was very much anticipating this, but I'm trying to let my hopes get too high. That one's a little bit more back down to earth. That's pretty. OD and Chi Fire. I'd say OD and Chi Fire Pied probably. And there's a mostly white snake there. I see a little bit of pattern, but not a ton. That looks like an OD, OD YB Fire Pied maybe, just a guess. You guys have seen why we love the Inchi in this so much because it puts tons of amazing pattern on the pied and if you hit lots of other jeans in there, that pattern becomes absolutely neon. So it's the best of all worlds. Wow, that's another really nice, almost pattern the saddles. OD Inchi, Fire Pied probably. Somebody's gonna be Leopard too, but it's gonna be harder and harder to tell Leopard sometimes when you get so many other jeans in there. The last place you can see really Leopard to be in the head and without seeing the head, it's hard to know. Wow. I'd say that's, um, wow, that's cool. I'd say that's OD and G Leopard Pied. Maybe, maybe Super OD, hard to say. Wow, guys, those first few, just ridiculous. Just ridiculous, so cool. So we'll very anxiously wait for these to come out and uh, whoa, see what we end up with. All right, so here is some of those babies. This is actually the top three of the clutch. All shut out, looking amazing. And the IDs on these are really hard. Pides are hard to ID in general just because they're extremely variable. Plus, a lot of times you don't have very much pattern to work with if they happen to be high white. Now, these are not high white, but again, there's so many genes in the mix. 
All right, so I think this one is the most gene packed of the clutch. And I would ID this as Super Inchy, Orange Dream, or Super Orange Dream, I don't know, Leopard, Fire, Pied. I just break down what I'm seeing there. Okay, the Super Inchy Pies are extremely low white, even more low white than Inchy Pieds. It has these really, really super wide eye stripes, which tend to, again, be a feature you see in uh, Super Inchy. The overall color, is very, very, very clean, very orange, which is orange dream, but it also has a paleness to it compared to these others, a much deeper pale of orange. So that's gonna be the fire kind of paling the orange a little bit. So again, really, really hard, but absolute power packed animal. This one's a girl, I believe, really, really cool. The next one is, I believe, also super inchy. Has the same kind of head pattern there. Extremely low white, but this one has yellow belly in the mix, which is giving it a little bit more white in it. It's giving it the darker orange. This one's definitely OD as well. And I think it's leopard. Again, the head pattern isn't look quite the same, so it may not have leopard in it, but I believe it's super inchy, OD or super OD, yellow belly pied. This one's really cool. I think this is super OD, inchy, yellow belly, leopard pied. So not super inchy. Again, I don't know for sure, but I've made a fair number of super OD, yellow belly, inchy pieds. And this is a very, very, very similar look, except for the head, which I think you could probably attribute to the leopard. What an amazing, amazing animal. All three of these were females. So I was really looking forward to powerhouse male from the clutch. And we ended up not getting any crazy, crazy males, but we have some, a couple more really cool ones to show you from the clutch. Watch. Okay, so here's the last four from the clutch, and I actually think there's maybe one that we're not showing on here, but these are the next coolest four. This one, I think it's OD, YB, Inchy, Leopard Pied. Possible Super Inchy again. Really, really, really neat. I love the head patterns. And it's so cool in these pies where the head is so much darker than the body. I've gotten kind of used to seeing that, so it doesn't surprise me so much anymore, so sometimes I don't even mention it. But so for some reason, piebalds, it's part of the whatever gene I think makes them so that their heads are almost never white. It also kind of normalizes the head. No matter how many genes you put into a pied, typically the head is darker and doesn't show all the genes as clearly as if it wasn't a pie. This one I think is Super Inchy OD Leopard Pied. Super Inchy again, those really super wide eye stripes, great pattern. Again, the pattern is not as jagged or as bright orange as you see if it had yellow belly. So I think it's single copy of OD, no yellow belly, Inchy. You got some cool little messed up vases here <laughs> in the pattern. Next two is a Super Inchy, Four Inchy, Leopard, Fire Pied. So Fire is making it the more pale yellow compared to the bright oranges below here. Really, really heavy pattern from the Inchy. You see the Leopard Inchy mix here in the head is giving it the white eye stripes but bringing it together in the middle. They kind of have that extra little peak meeting in the middle when you have the Leopard and the, and the Inchy together. This is all very theoretical, but what we can't deny is that these pieds are ridiculously cool. They're getting better and better, brighter and brighter. The pattern is getting more and more wicked and uh, really excited about where this project's going. This one, OD Inchy Leopard Pied, I believe, possible Super Inchy. A little bit in the head pattern there that make me think Super Inchy, but it's gonna be hard to know. And I think this one is a male as well. So kind of hard to know what comes from these, but I'm excited to constantly be pushing it forward, constantly see them getting better and better. It's hard to believe they can get much better than some of these, honestly. Uh, we keep making it and then we'll throw it into a Clown Pied, we'll throw it into Hypo and Desert Ghost, and we got, uh, we got 20 years of work right there. So really cool. All right, so there they are. It's so cool, and it's so cool to see these genes coming together. Big shout out to Ozzy for selling me the mail that made this. You know, the animals you have are the key to everything you make. There's just no other way around it. These turned out super cool. It's so cool to see Inchy and the Super Inchy and OD and Super OD. Double supers, that's, that's really cool, and that's definitely the future. Before you go, I wanted to give a big shout out in this video to four snakes I just received from Canada from a couple good guys. I'll show you what we got here. We had two amazing chocolate hypo het clown and inchy chocolate hypo het clown. Both these from Khalil Atani of 514 Reptiles. Great guy. These animals will fit in really, really cool because I want to make some really cool dark night hypo clowns and some combos in there. And these were perfect for that. Two girls. The other two are really awesome. Poshet Monsoon. 
Poshet Pi. Again, I think they're both girls. And these are from Austin at Royal Highness Pythons. So awesome, awesome animals. Thank you both. These are really, really exciting to kind of prove these out and figure out what they are. And of course, I know what these are. These are gonna be a great project, but it's always nice to get animals from good people and continue to reinvest with good, good guys in the industry who are making cool stuff is to keep pushing us forward and making the next generation of awesome things. So, thanks for tuning in. We'll bring you a couple more videos before Christmas and maybe one on Christmas Day. Thanks so much for watching. Like and subscribe. See you soon.